So what have you guys learned on this journey? Yes, exactly. Well, first I was going to say, and we still don't always get it right, right? Um, and I think Why you put my business in the I street? Think, I, said we, I said we. I am just saying. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you all out to a musical extravaganza called the Night and Day Project. Please save your applause to me. Do it because I love living. Yo, hear me though. Hear me though. Hear me though. Hear me though. It wasn't like I was like, oh, I just want to find someone and settle down and get married. Um, it wasn't like that at all. For me. Yeah, no, I mean, look, I, I was, you know, I had no intentions of getting married young. <laughs> I mean, I was going to do the, like what Derek Jeter did. Like, that was my game plan going into the NBA. When I, when I bought her ring and I told my boys, like, yo, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I got this ring. I'm... They're like, why? <laughs> and my boys are trying to talk me out of it. I don't know if they were like, okay, she's going to like replace us and no longer are we going to have access and all this. Or if they really were like concerned that there's something wrong with her. Right. Or I didn't know what it was. It was like the weirdest thing. You think the boys would be like, hey, that's great, man. Like, I'm happy for you. They were like, and, and I just think, you know, I just think that I... probably a little bit of it all. Little, yeah. But I think part of it was just... Like it was you're, you're young, young yeah, you got money, yeah, you got faith. Like, yeah. why would you want to be tied down? Yeah. And and so, um, I'm not boys with them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in the NBA. You're singing and on tour and doing movies. Um, what is it like to be the maybe the first among your friends and your peer group? You know, to be getting married. You guys were pretty young. Yeah. I mean, we had obviously we had support, and that was funny. And once. You know, once my friends accepted the reality, um, you know, they were happy for us. I think they were happy for us. Um, I'm not as close with them now, but that's a whole nother story. Um, so I bought the ring and I had it for a while. And I was trying to find the right, the right moment mm -hmm. to propose. And I set all these scenarios up and like two times we actually got in an argument. <laughs> and, and, so, and so finally one day, I'm getting ready to leave and, and go back to Detroit, and I was scared I was gonna lose the ring. And so I just did it right there. And so what you realize is that any moment you do it is the right time. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, everyone was supportive, and, but it was a little, you know, we were young. We were very young. And, um, and we were in interesting careers where, um, you know, not a lot of people would necessarily do that at that age. Looking back now and everything that marriage is, do you think you had any idea what you were getting yourself into? This is just me. Oh, You're gonna yeah. answer? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, am I, am She's I the asking only one questions I've seen? never actually yeah, thought about. Yeah, like, um, <laughs> I can answer if you want. Okay, go ahead. All right. Um, <laughs> no, no, not at all. I mean, as an athlete, you're self-absorbed. And, and, and as maybe, an entertainer as well. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. as an entertainer as well, as a diva, um, <laughs> in, in a good way, in a good way. But no, I mean, you are. And, and so uh, everything is about you. You're, you're the center of your own universe. Uh, then you combine that with ego and, and celebrity and money and all these different things. So then all of a sudden you have to, you know, you, you have to compromise. You know, you have to, it's a give and take, it's push pull. Marriage is... Like, it's, it's it. It's, it's a commitment. It's, it's, you know, my grandma said, you're just going to do this once. And, uh, and, and so I'm an only child of two only children. So, um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just learning to get along with somebody else, having a roommate, having a partner, having, having a friend. And, and so, so, yeah, it was an adjustment. I, I don't think anyone can really be prepared yeah. for marriage, and, and particularly a long marriage. And as you kind of go through it and you grow and you change, you evolve, um, you know, you can only sort of hope to grow and change and evolve together. Um, and even if you don't, you still respect each other along the way. And uh, so anyway, I'm rambling, but um, we weren't prepared. And we weren't, yeah, we were, I mean, we were, we had a good marriage, but we just weren't prepared for what we were about to embark on. I had no idea whatsoever. And I didn't really know how much I didn't know. And that's, that's one of the reasons why we actually went on this journey. And so she's the, she's the child of divorce. I've never seen my parents together. And so we had no idea what a marriage looked like. And so for me, like, I, like your grandmother said, I only want to do this once. I don't want to get divorced. I want to make sure we figure out how to do it right. And so 
us being able to sit across from people who have been in this game for five years, 15 years, 22 years, 70 years, was what we were trying to figure out. Like, how do you make it work? What do we avoid? What do we not do? What do I not do so I don't fuck shit up? So what have you guys learned on this journey? Yes, exactly. Well, first I was going to say, and we still don't always get it right, right? Um, and I think Why you put my business in the I street? I said, we, I said we, and I think that's normal, right? But um, what's funny, we can certainly tell you some lessons that we've learned, but what's, what we've talked about recently is that there's so much information that we have learned. I mean, we've talked to over 100 couples um, in different ages and got married at different times all over the country, like with different issues. Um, and so what's interesting, though, is that we've learned so much, but as Tommy has put it very well, committing it to muscle memory is a different thing, right? Sometimes you know the right way to respond because we learned from the argument that you had or some other couple had, and it's like, okay, grant to me a set. You know what I mean? Like, we know, but then in the moment, yeah. it's like, I hate you. <laughs> um, I hate you too. <laughs> right, and we, we know that's the bad, that's, yeah. a, that's a bad way to do it. Um, Sometimes so, that little voice will actually tell me, don't say anything else, and I'm like, I'm still saying it. <laughs> I'll know. I, I wish should, you wouldn't like, know. It'll, it'll literally say, don't say anything else. And I just can't help myself. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Um, but I will answer your question with just one thing. And I think the thing that I've had to distill it down was probably two things. One is, as the man in the marriage, you can be right or you can be happy. That's a hard lesson. <laughs> I like being right. It does. Yes. But I does. also like being married. And so it's a it's a hard thing intellectually, but knowing that what's best for the marriage is to sometimes be quiet about being right. <laughs> it, it, be it, quiet. <laughs> it's Just hard. Be it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Um, um and the second thing is that most of the couples who make it is it's because they're committed to being committed. Right. And that sounds simple, but it's really important because marriage is nothing but work. It's nothing but work day in and day out. And so when you're committed to that commitment and doing what you need to do as a result of that, then that's what helps you get to 22 years and beyond. Because there's always going to be reasons to be over it, right? Or days that you feel over it, or you know, some couples have told us even years. Um, that you're just like, ugh. That's scary. I mean, we're not there. We have not experienced this, but that's what we've been told. You know, there are just times. And I guess one of the pieces of advice we got about that, or maybe it's not advice, but observations was, but if you're not, as long as you're not there at the same time, mm. like as long as mm. one person yeah. is willing to, to, to give more, fight more, be patient, then usually you find your way back to each other. Yeah, I think the way they put it was, as long as you don't both fall out of love at the same time. Mm. Yeah. One really, maybe small thing, but it's significant for us, um, was actually a couple in season two, Dewanda Wise and Alano Miller. Um, Dewanda said, marriage is like self-love for two. I get a cup of coffee, I make you a cup of coffee, which is really important you know, everybody's things are different, the things that matter to you, and then that's one of those things that matters to him. I just want her to take care of me. <laughs> Is um, that terrible? I, I'm, I'm trying to get there in terms and, of... You and, know, I, and I appreciate it. I get a cup of coffee, you get a cup of coffee. <laughs> um, but but, it's, but it's, it sounds small, but it's hard she to remember She gets a cup sometimes. of coffee, I get what's ever left in the cup. If you want some coffee, let me know. <laughs> what you get? But I'm like, you know, if that's what you want, just tell me that's what I'm you want. I'm the only coffee drinker here, so I, don't drink coffee, I get my own coffee. That's not our argument. <laughs>